Now the tables have turned in the SEOAL. Logan came in tonight on a two-week drought, and Gallia Academy was still riding high from their first win of the season. Blaine Carraher was in Gallup Police tonight, and Blaine, this might have been the last trip to Memorial Field for Logan. Well, yeah, you know, the Blue Devils, they're joining the Ohio Valley Conference next season. So tonight's game, it really marked the end of this SEOAL matchup, and boy, oh boy, was it fun. It was senior night, and this marked quarter quarterback Cole Carter's last time under the Memorial Field lights. But Logan, they started this game off. Jeremy Miner, he finds his way to the end zone early in the first. That's his first touchdown of the year. Logan, they're up, now up 7-0. Cole Carter isn't having it. Six plays later, he steps back, slings one to Devin Henry. Logan can't touch that kid. And now Gallia and Logan are all tied up. Four minutes left in the first. And now on the ensuing drive, Logan gets pushed into a corner. Third down, they're trying to convert. Lane Little, he drops back, looking for a set of Chieftain hands, but he can't find them, though. Well, that was a huge stop for Gallia Academy early on. Well, yeah, Justin, but just wait what happens here. That punt hits a Blue Devil in the back. And then Logan, they end up falling on it. So now it's Logan Ball on their own 29-yard line. This puts Lane Little in the perfect position to do this. Check that, that textbook spiral. Falls into Isaiah Smith's arms. 13-7 now thir with a couple minutes left to go in the first. And Gallia, they charge back with another touchdown. But Jensen Wallace, he fires right back on this kickoff. Wallace, he gets on his horse. And it takes not one, two, or, and, but three Blue Devils to pull him down. And that big run from Wallace puts Little in a perfect position once again to look to his favorite receiver, Isaiah Smith. And he's off to the races. Logan, they end up taking this SEOAL matchup 48 to 13. Well, I'm sure that Logan is happy to finally get back to their winning ways. Oh, yeah. I mean, Logan, they needed that win tonight. And that's putting it lightly, Justin. The Chieftains, they knew going into this game that winning at Memorial Field is no easy task. Throughout the series between Logan and Gallia, the Blue Devils usually win on their home turf. And, you know, with this big conference game, tensions are bound to be high. Midway through the second quarter, a scuffle broke out, flags were thrown, and a couple of players from both teams were ejected. But let me tell you, after this, Memorial Field was loud and electric. Cole Carter, he had a burst of energy, but this burst of energy was really short-lived. Carter fumbled soon after, and then in the second quarter, Carter just was not having the same luck finding the guys that he did in the first. And then Logan really just took it from there. So with Lane Little under center, Logan had a pretty balanced offense tonight. Oh yeah, I mean, you really can't usually say that when a quarterback records five touchdowns through the air, but Little, he's now tied for second in, in Logan High School history with 41 career touchdown passes. But tonight, Logan didn't just rely on Lane Little's arm. The Chieftains, they worked Colton Stiltwell, Corey Wilson, and Jeremy Miner into the mix for their rush game. And no surprises here, but Lane Little did scramble his way out of trouble many times tonight. You got to give some credit to that Logan line. One play late in the second quarter, Little had 12 seconds before he launched a pass down the field. And when you add his legs and arms into the equation, this guy just cannot be stopped, Justin. So after a close first quarter, this game really opened up. What does this win mean for Logan going forward? Well, you know, moving forward, a win is a win. And yeah, their losses to St. Francis de Sales and Jackson did serve up a blow to Logan's playoff hopes, but they still sit seventh in Division II Region 5, and the top eight qualify for the postseason. Logan is far from being eliminated, and tonight after that first quarter, Justin, they really showed that they were playing like a playoff team. Well, like you said, Blaine, Logan's finally back in the win column. Thanks a lot.